Today we're going to show you Shortel Connect. Uh, Shortel Connect is technically release 15 uh, in the Shortel series, but uh, it's been rebranded to Shortel Connect. It's the first time the sh uh, Shortel has integrated uh, both their cloud-based or hosted platform with their premise base. So what you'll find is uh, in the Shortel Connect client you see today, it's going to be the exact same version that you see if you are on the hosted s system. So. If I open up the Shortel Connect client, here's what you see. And I can also bring over the existing Shortel Communicator client. Now, I don't think you're supposed to run them both on the same machine. Um, I do know that it causes my Outlook to crash every once in a while. But I can do things like um, make a phone call from my desk phone and have it call into the Shortel Connect client. All right, I'll just hang that up. And similarly, I can make a call from here and what you'll see is the Shortel Connect client is a little bit different from what you're used to. So I'll just move this over, open the Connect client again, and if I wanted to type a name and number, you'll see that it's a, a never of expanding panel here. So right from the beginning, I've got my dial pad. Okay, so I can enter the name and number, and if I type, you know, Canon here, it's going to actually look up uh, my Outlook contacts and also my internal system contacts as well. So I can also browse from there. Now I have my availability call handling mode. So my presence available in a meeting, out of office, do not disturb. So there's actually two additional ones that they've added. Actually, th yeah, two additional ones. There's out of uh, do not disturb vacation. And then the last one is custom. Now actually in custom, what you can do is you can create your own color so that you may say that you want it to be yellow in custom mode and it could be um, busy recording video okay so I can put myself into that custom call handling mode so you've got you're available in a meeting out of office do not disturb so instead of, so do not disturb is like in a meeting was before it forward directly to uh, voicemail you don't see the extended absence which now is called vacation so your presence information I'll switch it back to regular and available now some of the other things you have here is you have your recents tab you click on the recent tab it's going to expand to the right hand side and it's going to give you everything that you've seen or you've done so I could actually filter this to say just show me my calls right I want to see for instance messages which would be instant messaging I want to see voicemails that were left I want to see calls or I can see everything okay then I can also subfilter here saying missed flagged deleted anything that um, is on the system so I can minimize this and it goes back to people and groups so I can create um, a lot of these are users from my Outlook and you can also it pulls from your um, your Outlook and also from your system now I can create groups where I can create new users so I can say I want to create a new group and I'll call this uh, you know sales group and then I can actually put the people that I want in here so let's say I'm gonna put Gary in here and I'm gonna put uh, Ken in here and unfortunately there's only two people on the system right now and I hit save changes so now I've got two groups and when you cl click on any one of the groups the window opens up again and you can do things like start a group chat schedule a meeting for that group or send a group voicemail and then it shows you the members on there so if I want to start a group chat I just click on here and it opens up the chat window some of the things you'll see is it'll do things like you allow you to do screen share, share area, share your window right from an instant message. So with your communicator, without having to go to the conference bridge, you could literally be on a chat with somebody else and just open up and start sharing your screen. Okay. So if I want to close this, I click on the negative sign and then I have my events tab. Now my events tab is actually going to be my calendar. So if I look at my past events, there was a calendar event from yesterday. I can click on it and take a look at it. And some of the things you'll see here is in the new calendaring capabilities, I can do things like specify who's the organizer, who's the presenter, and also give the agenda and a breakdown of time. So this was this was a, a, a one-hour meeting, and I had the you know the agenda review, 
the presentation, and then the demo. So this will actually create an agenda for you when you email it out to your, your uh, participants that will show you what the expectation is, where it's going to happen, and even if you want to say the info of your, if your conference call, you can do this and send it out as well. So it's pretty handy. Okay, and then again, I can sort of click on here. It's going to open up the conference bridge, and now I'm in that meeting. All right, so now when I'm in that conference, so you can see it, I've just clicked the conference right now. I have things here where I can mute everybody. I can get the info for the bridge if I want to paste it and join somebody else. I can do the screen sharing. Uh, I can add additional users. I can record it. I can lock the conference. And even people here who want to like, raise their hand because they have a question or they're muted, you have the ability to see that so you can attend to those users who are um, asking questions. Okay? And I'll just minimize this. And as you see, every time I minimize this, it just moves back to the left-hand side. Okay? The other thing is, if you're looking, say, I wanted a dial, so I'm going to say call my uh, main number, and I hit enter, you're going to see the screen's going to expand, and underneath here on the left-hand side, you're going to hear the you're going to see the calling screen. So this is actually going to be making the call. So instead of in your short tail communicator where you saw all the information here, you actually see it underneath your tab, okay? And then it's making that call. And that's off the screen. So you can see here that I'm done with the call. I want to hit hang up or I want to put them on hold. And click on here and hang up on that call. All right. So you have that information at your fingertips. The other thing you do down here is you see that there is actually a, a lock. Because there is a hosted you know, version, you can in, in, uh, put in or put into place uh, additional encryption, SRTP, Secured Real-Time Protocol, to add some additional security to your, your system. And that's it. So you can also go into here into your short tail communication with your settings. And I'll move to my other screen. So some of the things you can see here is your login access, your AD credentials, call routing. So your call routing rules, so you can actually use a wizard now to say, hey, if I get a call from this person between 8 and 5 p.m., I want it to ring this way. If I get a call from this other person, I want my phone to uh, to ring differently. Um, you know, I want my additional phones to uh, simultaneously ring. All that sort of stuff can be set up here. Your voicemail, playback in your setup, instant messaging. You have the ability to create a couple, uh, you to add some canned responses so that you can respond with canned uh, responses instead of having to always type it, I'm on a call. Uh, video, you can do the real desktop video. Outlook, notifications, your desk phone, the language, the wallpaper, the ringtone, soft phone, what audio device you want to use for your soft phone and your telephony information, things like uh, number of simultaneous calls, your dial-up prefix, suppressing your call waiting tone, and also suppressing your uh, off-hook tone. So this is all accessible now in this short tail communicator. Now, a couple things. Um, I don't think there's the ability to sort of add any buttons on at this point, so additional buttons, so for like uh, bridge call appearances or any uh, toolbars at this release. The other thing is, it's a pretty fixed GUI, so the graphic user interface. I mean, I can minimize it. I can make it a little bit smaller. I can make it a little bit larger. Let's behave. Right. Um, it doesn't really dock, but it does give you the flexibility of moving it. And that's about as small as I can make it go. I also have a search here, so I put in a name and number. Again, like I can do the searches for whoever needs to, uh, whoever I need to talk to. All right, and then I will close this off. And that is the Shortel Connect client.